Hey, everybody, welcome back to Stack Stacks. I'm John Swicky, and today we are going to look at a product called V0. Uh, so it's at v0.dev, and it is basically a text to or UI component uh, AI generator. So let's head on over to the FAQ to learn a little bit more about this. So uh, it is uh, by this company, Vercel, and it generates copy and paste from the uh, code based in either this React library or this Tailwind CSS library. So pretty cool. Um, let's see. Training out some open source data, some different data sets. So we're inside of the private beta at the moment. A little bit more about what they're going to be adding on different types of libraries. So the output will be a little bit different, hopefully, down the road. Um, okay, so let's take a spin here. So it looks like by default from on the free one, everything's kind of public. So let's go over to the feature section here. Let's look at, let's see if we can find something interesting here. Okay, table of financial invoices. So one of the cool things about this is you can kind of, uh, if you find, if you got shared one, you can kind of see the output, the output of someone else's code here, and you can kind of, you kind of get into it a little bit, which is cool. Um, you can kind of make your own copy, and you can see kind of their, their prompts here, which is cool, because you can see how some of them are pretty, pretty robust. Um, this person went from this is version one, and now we go down to version twenty. You can see they definitely like did these fine changes. So, um, kind of cool, kind of cool. Uh, let's see what else we can find in the feature section before we get in there and make one dashboard for a SaaS app. Um, let me try the music player. Let's see what this one looks like. Pretty solid music player. You know, good bass. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's time to see what we can build without writing any code today. Okay. So, um, go for one of these pre made things. Let's see. Let's do a hero section. Oh, okay. Well, any page hero section with heading. Leading text in an opt-in form. All right, yeah. Let's start there. All right, so it's generating our first prompt. And it looks like they make three copies for every prompt, which is pretty neat. You can kind of... Uh... So it's sort of... This looks pretty straight. Yeah. This looks pretty straightforward. It's a standard standard web pattern. Um, I wouldn't expect it to struggle too much with this. But really, for no reason, we're going to pick the first one, and we're going to kind of talk to it and see like how uh, how deeper we can go. So let's see. Uh, so we got a hero section. So let's kind of start to build out um, a landing page, a landing page in full here. So uh, we need a company logo. Top of the page. Yeah. Awesome. A section of highlight. Benefit. Company. The other walk. Choose everyone. Spot to say feature video. Feature feature on video. And we want maybe a map of our business address. Okay. That feels like a 
fairly standard kind of marketing kind of landing page you'll find out in the wild. All right, so place folder image one up top for the logo. Okay. They remembered our previous choice. Nice. And it's building out some some benefit sections of the uh, of the company, our fake company. And we got a placeholder for video, a placeholder for our location. And we're going to hit this little button here. We're going to edit only this section. And we add an address. Number. and a button for direction so the cool thing is that it kind of almost allows you to kind of inspect an element and let it kind of re um kind of rework that that particular element uh, let's see so we got all right so we need to add a footer all right so we need a footer wow i can't type tonight we need a footer that also has some um, navigation link and a button to sign up for our email newsletter. I'm coming back. The prompt's happening. I mean, the, the building's happening. Um, wish him to rebuild the stuff that I like because it's kind of adding. So that could be something. They can add down the line where you kind of maybe maybe you lock in uh, a couple components so that they don't make any moves. But uh, let's see, all right, we got our video. Now I think we need our map. Yep. I mean, you know, in a few minutes we've got something. You know, I mean, it needs work, but I mean, we've got something, right? And think if we spent time with this and kept refining it and kept making our little tweet, right? Add, let's, well, actually, let's try one thing here. Um, <clears throat> make sure there is an it between this element one next to it. Right, let's see if we can get some small touches in place here and some, some refine, refinements, refinements. Um, so you got our spacing in, right? So you kind of, you can kind of target things. You can kind of be really specific. Um, and I mean, for what we did in a couple of days, it's absolutely blowing me away. Absolutely blowing me away. Um, so you kind of share it and, you know, the code output, I mean, I mean, it sucks because it's there's limited options, and if you don't, for your project to have no no use case for this, so it'll it'll be tough. But or uh, if you're not going to use React components, or you don't like the CSS here, um, definitely going to be tough. But I mean, you know, for so let's actually look at our pricing. Let's see what we got here. I'm in my beta here, so I don't think I'm getting. Hey, here we go. Let's go into pricing, right? Because well, I actually get 200 credits a month. I think every time I'm prompted something, that would be a credit. If I understand, I believe I understand all this correctly. So, okay, 200 a month, you know, not bad at all. And 20 bucks a month, 5,000. Um, I definitely want to know what general commercial terms are. We probably need to deep, do a deeper dive into um, how each generation costs 10 credits, except for the first generation, which costs 30, as it results in three generations. Okay, so each one costs 10. Why don't they just make it? So if each one costs 10, yeah, you really don't get a lot in the free plan, which. I can understand because there's a lot of probably a lot of power that goes into this. Um, let's see, do I get to keep my credits until they expire? Or should we get the free plan? Okay, so you can keep credits 
Okay, so you buy pretty big packs, which is cool. So if you have a have a heavy heavy usage month, I do like purchase on the main credits, it expire in nine days, that kinda sucks. Um more Okay, here we go. Can I use can I use generated code for commercial purposes? Your own generated code based on your queries and prompts can be used without restrictions. Okay. All right, that's important. That's important. Um okay, so VO VO no VO VO V zero. Uh you know, uh it's definitely gonna be something that is gonna be in my in my toolbox. Uh I think for for kind of code generation, I don't know if I've seen something work quite as quite as well. Um I think definitely if they can add in different outputs for different projects, I think then it becomes like wow, like almost a must have. Um but I still think if you're playing around with an idea or prototyping something, just kinda wanna kinda kick the tires on some stuff. Um yeah, this is gonna be one of those tools that I think uh I think it's gonna I guess that if they could if they can if they could play with that output a little bit more and give us more options, this is gonna be one of those uh yeah, this could um, you know. I I don't know, I just think there's so much potential here, so um so look out for that. I think it's so it's private beta right now. I was on a wait list. So uh and they, they just hit it, they just started rolling it out to me. So um yeah, guess sign up. Uh get a fl play around with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, start building some stuff with it. Um I think it's pretty awesome. I, I this is this is a this is a new favorite of mine, so thank you all for joining me on this journey tonight and uh We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.